Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're now just make a quick video showing how you can find critical values using Microsoft Excel. <clears throat> so our goal is then to be able to find critical values for a standard normal distribution, that's a Z of alpha over two, and then find, uh, be able to find, which one's a typo there, find critical values from a uh, T distribution, that's a T of alpha over two. So first, let's talk about finding the critical values from the standard normal distribution or Z of alpha over two. So we can use Excel to find these. So what we're gonna enter is this function right here. So it's norm.s.inv of alpha over two. So once you're given your confidence level, say, uh, in fact, the example we'll do here, say it's a 90% confidence, 99% confidence level. So alpha would be 0 0.01. So we're gonna divide that number by two, and then that's what we give be our input. Now, when you do this, what you're going to get is actually going to be a negative number. And then you just take the absolute value of that and then round off to whatever you number know, decimal places you need. That will give you your values. For example, if we have alpha of 0 0.1, that's for a 99% confidence interval, then we'll plug in 0 0.005, which is 0 0.01 divided by 2. It will get negative point, about 2.58. Take the absolute value of that, and that's going to give you the value. Okay. Now. Let's do another example of that. So let's over here, we want to find um, Z of alpha over two or something different like say 85% confidence. Something a little bit different. So the usual ones of course are 90%, 95% and 99%. Let's say we want to do something like this, 85%, okay? So for 85%, remember what this is, is, so this is as a decimal. So technically this is what's called one minus alpha is 0.85, okay? And then what that means then is that your alpha then is 0.15 or 15%, okay? So then first we divide that by two, so alpha divided by two, and that's going to be 0 0.075. And then that's what we're going to enter. Okay. Because so what we're doing then is remember, think about a standard normal distribution. So right here is our mean in the middle, which is zero. So what we're finding then is we're dividing our alpha into two parts. And maybe this should be a symmetrical distribution, though my picture it doesn't look like that. And so this part over here, this is alpha over two. And also, this is also alpha over two, okay? So what we're finding then is actually this Z value right here, which is going to be negative. That's what this does. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in. So in Excel, we're going to plug in Z of uh, this, so N-O-R-M dot S dot I N V of 0 0.075. Okay, well, let's find out what that is. We go to Excel. We start to type. Make sure you use an equal sign. Start to type that in. So here it is, right here. Okay, it says for probability, so 0 0.075. And we do that, and once it's going to be negative, it's so negative 1.43953. Okay, and so then our alpha over two, Z of alpha over two, we take the absolute value of that. Remember, these are identical, this is symmetric. And so let's say to round off two decimal places, there's gonna be the absolute value of negative 1.43953, just a positive value. So round it off and say it's two places, say it's gonna be 1.44. So that's our Z of alpha over two, okay? It's like this example here shows, this example with alpha 0.1, it's the same thing, okay? So we need to do unusual values, then what do I mean by unusual or not numbers that are values that are not uh, confidence or unusual confidence levels, ones that are not 90%, 95% or 99%. Now, let's also do the same thing with a uh, T value. So find a critical value. This is a little more straightforward because it actually is a function for this. So we can also find, use a Microsoft Excel to find critical T values that the T of alpha over two from this, uh, this T distribution. 
And in this case, we want to enter is our alpha level, alpha, and also a number of degrees of freedom. Okay. Now, if you don't remember what those are, I'll look back at a previous video I did about estimating a population mean, which talks about degrees of freedom. Once you have those, let's say an example, I also want to do an alpha of confidence level of 99%, so an alpha of 0 0.01 and 10 degrees of freedom. Okay, so you plug those in. So the t.inv.2t, the 2t is for two tails. You plug that in, and that gives this value, which is uh, going to be the two decimal places. I actually ignore this table right now. In fact, I need to erase that. It's not important for now. Okay, so let's actually do an example of that. So let's find. Um, T of alpha over two, let's say, um, do the same thing, say four, 85% confidence. We'll say, and let's say degrees of freedom is 20. Okay. Now, of course, uh, the, how many, depending on how many number of degrees of freedom you have, that's going to change your value. But so what we're going to enter then is going to be so uh, like we had before. So the one minus alpha is going to be 0.85, just as it was before. Other example, and so this means our alpha over two is, or, or sorry, just our alpha is going to be 0.15, which then means our alpha over two, just as before, is going to be 0.75. And what we're going to find then. Our t distribution is also a symmetric distribution, it just has called wider tails than the s distribution, but the mean is in the middle. So, what we're finding here are also these alpha over two values. But this time we just get a positive value, we don't have to worry about taking the absolute value of it. Okay, so we're finding this value right here. This would be our t of alpha over two. Which Reminds me, I've actually, I should have put this Z of alpha over two here. Okay, Let me fix that. Okay, and so we're going to enter then is going to be T of alpha over two is going to be T dot I N V dot two T. All right, that a bit better. T of so alpha, which is alpha over two. In this case, actually, we don't, I take it back, we don't actually need alpha over two. We just need alpha, okay? And so we just put an alpha, which is point one five. So we don't actually need alpha over two for this. To be sure here, we need alpha. And then our degrees of freedom, which is going to be 20. And if we do that, let's go back to Excel. Okay. Start to type that in t dot there it is inv dot two t and we said our alpha was point one five and degrees of freedom were twenty and so that's going to be one point four nine seven zero three six and so that's going to be approximately then. Let's do two decimal places, 1.50. Okay, so remember, just remember what each case, which format, and also what you're using. So remember in this one, for a Z of alpha over two, you're actually putting an alpha over two here, but in the critical value, the T value, just putting an alpha then degrees of freedom. Okay, and so you can do this then when you, if you have to find unusual alpha values or usual uh, critical values that aren't the standard ones, like for 90%, 95%, and 99% confidence level. Thank you. Have a good day.